So Drew, now that we've completed our part inspection, how do we output the data? Okay, well on the QM data box, we're gonna press the file key, which is key number seven. We're going to select output, which is item number three. So I'm gonna press key three. We may have multiple routines here. We're gonna select the one that we just ran and I'm gonna hit the enter key. It's gonna ask for a file name. This is the file name that we recently created. So that's what it's going to default to. If you want to use that same file name, you can. If you wanna choose a new one, use the keypad to type in your new file name. Once your file name is entered, press enter to confirm. If you use a file name that's already on a flash drive, it will ask you to confirm if you want to overwrite that file. I'm going to hit enter to select yes. And now we have the option to enter comment fields. So these comment fields could be header information, maybe uh, which sample I measured, maybe the customer work order information, things like that? Exactly, and that data will be contained within the CSV file. Once I pass through the comment fields, I'll get a confirmation dialog to let me know that everything has been completed.